Happy Saturday, folks. We have a couple brief videos. I'm actually gonna do separate videos. So this is the main video for the day. And then I'm gonna break it down into a couple smaller videos since there's different topics and they're not really connected at all. So first, again, congratulations to that pedal show. Awesome milestone. Um, Go Chappers for the scholarship. That was awesome. Let's see what else. Uh, if you haven't heard, Line 6 dropped 2.8 for the Helix, the whole product range. Some awesome long-awaited updates in there. Just a warning, it is a major file size update. It is not a quick patch, and it does make your Helix slower to load. So after you've installed it, your Helix is going to take almost twice as long to, to boot up. At least my LT does. Um, but, can't say it really sounds any better, but we got the Analog Man King of Tone and Prince of Tone, which both very popular, very uh, desired pedals, particularly the King of Tone, obviously. The King of Tone sounds good. I'm not... Uh, I, I can see the, the appeal, but I think the actual pedal would be better because you've got the two switches. I think the problem with it on the um, Helix is that you've only got one switch. Part of the appeal of the, the King of Tone is that you can do half, other half, and either stack them or not stack them. Now... In theory, you can do the Prince of Tone twice and stack that way. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I, I guess you could. Not 100% convinced of that. Um, but it certainly gives us options that we didn't have. And it does sound good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we're talking personal preference here, not... not quality of option it did motivate me to mess around with some fuzzes in there uh, and I also discovered that somehow I had missed the fact that the uh, electric mistress was in there I totally missed that flanger in there yeah that's in my in my rig now for the uh, helix basically I when I put in 2.8 I started fresh I built a whole new set of patches and I'm running that, this is kind of funny, but I'm running that through the Mustang, my little Mustang one. And I like the effects better off the Helix. I think that it, it gives me more control. I can turn things on and off. I can have more flexibility that way versus running them in the Mustang and having to change patches. Nothing crazy. I mean, it, it, it's it's a Mustang one. It sounds good, not great. Um, it's small, it's light, it fits in my bedroom. The Helix slides under the cabinet. So slide it out, turn both on, play. And I'm definitely taking advantage of it. It gives me easier, full-featured practice without fiddling with it. Uh, what else? What do we got? I don't know. Uh, in my personal world for, for playing... I kind of broke the plateau I've been sitting at where, I don't know, I just wasn't really getting a whole lot better. I wasn't learning anything new. It seemed like I was just struggling to break past where I was. And I don't know. I don't know what to attribute it to. I put some time in on the basics again, and then I went back to Fender Play and just powered through a bunch of lessons while I was out of town and I, I didn't master each one I certainly was okay I got the basics of that let me go to the next one go to the next one go to the next one and I think it, it gave me enough new material to kind of jog my brain into oh let's let's start advancing again don't know but it's been really nice it's been it's been great to be fooling around with new things and be seeing actual improvement in my playing. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay out of trouble. Keep playing and have fun.
Now, on to part two.